Hey Teague Tigers, it's Mr. Rodriguez here and today we're going to be talking about how to compare two numbers using comparative language and then representing the comparison of those two numbers using symbols. And so to start off, let's take a look at some of the important vocabulary words when we're talking about comparing numbers. So first of all, the word compare means to find out how things are alike or different. Okay, we have the words greater than and above it is the greater than symbol. And here's an example of using the words greater than to compare two numbers. So we have 20 is greater than 14 because over here we have the number 20 represented using base 10 blocks, which is right here is two tens. And then on this side we have the number 14 represented using base 10 blocks and there's one 10 and four ones. And so 20 over here is greater than 14 or 20 is bigger than 14. So when you hear the words greater than, I want you to think bigger than. Over here we have the words less than and above it is the less than symbol. And so down here in our example, um, we have 14 is less than 20 because over here we have 14 and on this side we have 20 and 14 is less than 20 or 14 is smaller than 20. So when you hear the words less than, I want you to think of the words smaller than, okay? So next I want to take a look at an anchor chart that I made that we can use to compare numbers. Um, we've been working on comparing numbers already, but now we're going to work on bigger numbers, numbers that are greater than or bigger than 100, all the way up to 120. And so first let's take a look up here. And over here on this side, I have the number 118. 118. So the number 118 has one 100, one 10, and eight ones. On this side, on the right side, I have the number 105. 105 is represented using one 100 and five ones. Looking at the numbers 118 and 105, we need to think which one is greater or which one is smaller. So looking at the numbers 118 and 105, I notice that 118 has one 100 and so does the number 105. But when I look at the tens place, 118 has one 10 and 105 doesn't have any tens. And then the number 118 has eight ones and 105 has five ones. So if I wanted to compare these two numbers using comparative language, I would say that 118 is greater than 105. That's the same thing as saying 118 is bigger than 105. And then we also need to use our symbols, our comparison symbols, to compare these numbers. And so this is what it looks like using our symbols. Okay, this says, and I read it as if I'm reading a book from left to right. It says 118 is greater than 105. So we can use words and we can use symbols to compare numbers. Over here in the middle, on the left side, I have the number 112. 112 is represented using one 100, one 10, and two ones. On this side, I have the number 120. So 120 is represented using one 100, and two tens, and zero ones. So if I want to compare these two numbers, I have to think again which one is greater and which one is smaller. Well, if I look over here, the number 112 has one 100, one 10, and two ones. The number 120 has one 100, two tens, and zero ones. So they both have 100, so that's the same. And then 112 has one 10, and 120 has two tens. Well, two tens is bigger, and one 10 is smaller. 
So that tells me that the number 112 is less than 120. And then if I want to use my symbols to compare these two numbers, this is what it looks like down here. 112 is less than 120. And so when we're using our symbols, an easy way to remember is that our symbol is always open to the bigger number, the number that is greater. So up here, our symbol's open to the bigger number, which is 118. Down here in the middle, our numbers, uh, I'm sorry, our symbol is open to the bigger number, which is 120. Okay, so make sure your symbol is open to the bigger number and then you just read it from left to right. So again, up here this says 118 is greater than 105. Over here in the middle it says 112 is less than 120. Down here at the very bottom, um, we have two numbers that look the exact same. We have the number 100, and over here we have the number 100. And so if the numbers are the same, that means that they have the same value. So that means that they're equal. So to compare these numbers using words, I would say 100 is equal to 100. And then right here is the symbol. This is the equal sign. And this is the sign we use to compare numbers that are the same. 100 is equal to 100. All right, so let's continue and let's practice just a little bit comparing numbers using the greater than, less than, or equal to sign and also using words because we're not just using the symbols and we're not just using the words, we're using both. And so let's take a look at these two numbers that are already represented for us using base 10 blocks. So over here, I see, or I can count to figure out what number this is. And so this is 100, plus 10 more is 110, plus 6 more is 116. And this is the number 116. Over here, I can skip count by tens because these are tens, and then count the ones to figure out what number it is. So this is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84. So we have the two numbers 116 and 84 and we need to compare these two numbers. So do you remember what I said earlier? Our symbol is always going to be open to the bigger number. So take a couple seconds and think about which symbol am I going to use. If I use this symbol, the less than symbol, is it open to the bigger number? No, it's not. If I use the equal to symbol, are these numbers the same? No, they are not. If I use the greater than symbol, is the symbol open to the bigger number? Well, yes, because 116 has 100. That's a lot. And the number 84 doesn't have any hundreds. So 116 is greater than 84. And if I wanted to use words now, 116 is g greater than 84. The easiest way to read these words since they're a little bit bigger, like the word greater, if I want to say greater, g -g greater, greater starts with the letter G. Less than, l -l less than starts with the letter L. And then equal to, E, equal to starts with the letter E. Let's practice another one together. We're going to compare these two numbers using words and symbols. So over here, our first number, um, I can count to figure out what number that is. So this is 100, 
101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109. This is the number 109. On this side, we have some tens and ones that I can count to figure out what it is. So this is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 71, 72, 73. Again, my symbol has to be open to the bigger number, and so I need to use the greater than sign. So if I'm using words to compare these two numbers, 109 and 73, which words am I going to use? Less than, greater than, or equal to? You're right, I'm going to use greater than. So this says 109 is greater than 73. So now let's take a look and I'm going to read you a word problem. Um, and we're going to see how to compare these two numbers from the word problem. So it says, Michael has 113 yellow pencils. He also has 103 red pencils. Choose the comparison sentence that compares Michael's pencils. So we need to take a look at A, B, C, and D and think about which one is correct. Which one makes sense? Okay, because only one of them is going to make sense. And thinking about everything that we just talked about, only one of them makes sense. So let's go through one by one. So the first one, A, says 113 is equal to 103. Is that true? No, it is not true because 113 and 103 are not the same. They don't have the same value. Okay, so this is not correct. Let's take a look at B. B says that 113 is greater than 103. In other words, it's saying 113 is bigger than 103. That one sounds about right, okay? But let's take a look at the other ones just to make sure. C says 103 is greater than 113. Hmm, that doesn't make sense because 103 has one 100, zero tens, and three ones. 113 has one 100, one ten, and three ones. So 113 has more. So this cannot be correct. The bottom one is trying to trick us. It says 113 is equal to 113. Is that true? Yeah, it is true. But what was the question asking us? It's, she's, it's asking us to compare Michael's pencils. He has 113 yellow pencils and he has 103 red pencils. So did it say that he had 113 yellow pencils and 113 red pencils? No, it didn't. So we're not going to get tricked. That's silly. So the only one that makes sense is B. 113 is greater than 103. And it's true. And our symbol is open to the bigger number. Very good. So today we talked about comparing numbers using symbols and using words. And remember when we're comparing, we're trying to find out how they're alike or how they're different. And we use the words greater than, less than, or equal to to compare those numbers. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Practice, practice, practice because practice makes perfect. And I hope that you have a wonderful day, Tigers.